Hey guys, welcome back to another Vinnie Vid production. Um, this is going to be another special request from one of my subs, um, Mr. Vinny. <laughs> yeah, there's another Vinny out there. Uh, and he asked me to show him uh, how to wire the layout. Uh, it seems to be his weak point, and so I will be glad to help him. Um, what I'm going to show you will be a very basic uh, wiring diagram, uh, and then when I'm ready to start doing it on my layout, I will show you how to do that. Anyhow, stand by and we'll get down to the workbench and we'll see what we need to have. Be right back. Alright guys, here we are down at my work table and we'll start off with the uh, basic tools that you'll need. Um, a pair of side cutters, a couple of different sizes. Uh, you'll also need a pair of uh, wire strippers, um, some screwdrivers, a uh, little small Phillips screwdriver, regular small Phillips screwdriver, and uh, a regular screwdriver. And also, you'll need a couple of uh, bits and of course you'll need a drill motor to use those and uh, <coughs> hold on a second here <coughs> uh, marker if you want to mark your stuff okay and then we'll move over to the materials materials we will be using um, this is regular ordinary speaker wire it's uh, probably uh, um, 14 or 12 gauge uh, and this we're going to use for bus line. And then we're going to need a couple of these. These are uh, terminal uh, joiners that will be the feeders for your track. Now I made these um, and uh, I looked at the price of these and for one pair they're two ninety nine. So if you got a lot of connections it would be a lot easier and faster and cheaper for you to make these. And you should watch my video, um, Save Money, Make Terminal Joiners. Um, it was back, uh, let's see, when did I do that video? <coughs> 7 13, 13 is when that video was put up there. Uh, i show you exactly how to make these and save yourself some money. Alright, the next thing we're going to need is uh, these here. And they're called barrier strips. I believe they're called barrier strips. And to make life easier, what I do is I split this between track A and track B. And as you can see in the center, uh, that I have that painted red. Sorry guys, that was the Camaro kid uh, calling me, asking me if I was hungry. <laughs> Anyhow, let me get back to where I was. Uh, so, what I do is I kind of black this out right here. And I use one side for track A and one side for track B. Alright, and uh, to join these guys together, um, where did I put that little guy? You'll need these guys right here. If you guys can see those. Okay, and they come in a package like this. And I got these from All Electronics. Uh, they're in California. Uh, good prices and good service. Alright, so now we showed you that you can mount these to your. Uh, uh, framework with uh, double-sided tape, but I found out after a while that the double-sided tape gives out. So uh, What I do is I got a bunch of these little screws right here, and I actually screw these barrier plates to the uh, um, Framework now what you need to do with these little guys Is to take them and put them in here. They're actually little jumpers is what they are rather than wrapping wire around there all the time and you put those in there like that and then you do the same for the next two and you tighten those down like so and tighten this one down and then this one so basically all that did right now was connect the top screw with the bottom screw so now that we have all the materials covered uh, except for the uh, wire, the feeder wires that I used for my terminal joiners is 22 gauge. Um, and you could put as many of those as you want. Um, 
and connect them to here. I'm not a big fan of the uh, suitcase connectors. Uh, I've seen them fail before, so that's why I don't use them. Anyhow, give me a minute and I'll show you a diagram of how all this gets hooked up. And uh, we'll be right back. Alright, one other item I forgot. When you guys uh, are going to make these, and these are, these are good for all scales. Mine happens to be N scale, but HO or, or G scale or whatever your joiners are, you could do it the same way. Anyhow, um, to do that project, you're going to need some solder, some flux, and the good old soldering iron. Uh, so, now we'll get to the diagram. So hang on and be right back. Alright guys, what you're looking at in front of you is a wiring diagram. A uh, very basic wiring diagram for uh, wiring up your layout. Um, as you can see, we got up here is your power supply. Um, <clears throat> It could be DC or DCC. There. Either one of them is going to have track output on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the first output and we're going to run it to one of the uh, uh, terminals on the barrier strip. And remember, once you put these in here, all six of these become uh, the same. So uh, you would send one into here and then you would take the next one from here and bring it down to here and then take the next one and same thing from this terminal to this terminal. And you could do the same thing uh, for the green. Now the green I have connection here, which is okay, but it would have to be a solder joint. I prefer to take this next wire and run it to the next terminal and then do the same again here. Uh, again, this is another solder joint, which I don't recommend because it's a lot more work. So just run it down to here and then take your next one and run him over to the final place. Once you get all your barrier strips hooked up, like I show you here, uh, then we can start hooking up your track. Now, uh, I show here that these are in two different places, but actually it, it would be a rail joiner. So uh, just keep that in mind. So this one actually should come over to here. Um, anyhow, we will come from the barrier strip. Any one of these six now you can use. Uh, so you would bring it down and go to, uh, let's call it rail, eight, uh, rail one. And then you would take the other side and go to rail 2. And remember what I said, these are terminal joiners, so it would probably go here. Um, there are a lot of options you can do. Um, you can use as many of these six terminals on either one for as many track drops as you want. Um, you can also, um, and I won't get too technical on this, but you can break this up into blocks with uh, toggle switches to activate each separate block. Uh, that's for you guys pretty much that are using DC power supplies. Uh, another note is if you are using DC power supply, make sure when you hook up to the back of your uh, power pack that you hook it up either to the variable uh, outlet, variable DC outlet, or track power. It should be labeled one way or the other. Um, I think that's about it for now. Uh, if you guys have any questions on this, feel free to ask me. Uh, I don't mind doing uh, how-tos or showing you guys how to do it. That's why I'm doing this video is for uh, one of my subs. And yes, his name is Vinny. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so, uh, hope you guys enjoy the uh, video. And uh, let me know what you think about it. Uh, I'll be right back for the finale of this video. Bye. Alright guys, I hope you find this little video helpful, especially to the uh, new young guys that are getting into the hobby. Uh, like I said, it's a very basic uh, way of wiring up your layout. Um, you could add uh, insulators, put blocks in there, a uh, whole bunch of different stuff. Um, but anyhow, I did forget, forget to mention something in my little demonstration there. Um, if you guys decide to use the speaker wire, uh, you know that speakers have a plus and a minus and it has to be oriented correctly. So the speaker wire would be uh, marked for the positive side either with a white stripe running down the outer housing or the color wire itself would be uh, one would be copper and the other would be a silver color. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you hook this up as long as you're consistent with your track wiring uh, corresponding with the color that you use. Which brings me to the next part that I forgot to mention, <clears throat> if you are using a red wire on rail 1, then rail 1 needs to get red wire throughout the entire layout. And the same thing for rail 2. If you use black, 
if you use a black wire for argument's sake uh, on rail 2, then it needs to be on rail 2 throughout the entire layout. Uh, again, I hope this uh, video was a little helpful for you guys. Um, as always, your questions, comments, input, and subs are always welcome. Uh, anyhow, for now, that's all folks. BNSF 6951, out.